For me, most muchim is too strong. The vinegar takes away the seafood flavor. So the way I would judge this is if it's not too strong for me. I like spicy, but sometimes the vinegar takes all the flavor away from the fish. There's some like, the vinegar is really strong, but at the same time it's very clean. Very sharp, but not, doesn't make you pop. I don't know. I've never had muchin like this before. The port city of Mokpo, on the southwestern tip of Jolan Namdo, has some of the most dynamic and exciting food in all of Korea. Historically, Mokpo holds great significance, with Japanese-style architecture still peppering the city as a reminder of the Japanese occupation, as well as the independence movement towards a free and independent Korea. But its unique geographic location near the abundant sea, as well as the rich Jolan Namdo farmland, has created a food mecca in Korea that everyone should experience. My friend Do Hyung came with me to discover exactly what makes this city's cuisine so special. What we found was incredibly fresh, surprisingly shocking, and absolutely delicious. The kind-hearted chefs of Mokpo opened their hearts and knowledge to us, and we discovered that Mokpo is hiding some of the best food in all of Korea. Over the next few weeks, I'll be sharing all of the surprising, exciting, and delicious food experiences we discovered in Mokpo with you. So please subscribe to follow us along on our journey through this incredibly beautiful city. In this episode, we begin our tour at a place that serves what some consider to be the most representative food of Mokpo, Hue Muchim. Hechon serves incredibly fresh raw clams and nakji mixed with a spicy vinegar sauce and various fresh herbs and vegetables. The quality of their dish has caused their popularity to grow, so expect long lines and abrupt service. But despite the crowd, I would certainly put this restaurant on any good food list for Mokpo. Alright, so we're headed to Hechon. We're gonna get some muchim hue, hue muchim, which is basically like mixed raw fish with some red spicy sauce. And somebody online said that this food is a representative of Mokpo. So we'll see how good it is. Uh, so we just ordered cho, cho nakchi muchim, nakchi cho muchim. Bachirak? Bachirak nakchi. All right, bachirak nakchi. So it's nakchi and clam muchin. This place is so busy. There's so many people. It smells delicious. So we got the nakchi here, for sure. I want to find a clam. Ah, here you go. Wow. Mix it in with the gimp, like this. I see, just to clean your palate. Uh, I've actually never had this. Do you mix it with rice too? Let's just do it, just a small portion. A little bit? But it's normal to do like a bibimbap? Oh man. 
got octopus, shells, looks like some minari, some seaweed, some gim, some onion. It's so nice, man. Really nice. What kind of vinegar do you think they're using? I'm serious. I'm serious. I think rice vinegar. There's some like, the vinegar is really strong, but at the same time, it's very clean. Very sharp, but not, doesn't make you cough. I don't know. I've never had muchin like this before. This is great. Wow. Wow. Really good. What do you think? I love it. It's good, right? Wow. Oh, holy shit, this is awesome. Try it. Really good. Mm. The best moochin I've had is in Jeju Island. Myeongine uh, Goromo way. They serve moochin with the Goromo. It's so perfect. But I think this one might be better, maybe. Wow. Taste is so nice. It's not runny, that's my biggest pet peeve with juke, which means that they know how to cook juke. Because if the juke gets runny, it means they're not stirring it properly. <laughs> this looks good. Oh my god, dude. That's amazing. You should try it. Usually juke is so bland, but there's something in this that's Really good flavor. It's amazing. Wow, really good. This is one of those places that's really busy, but there's a reason that they're busy. Honestly, the service is good, but the service is very direct. They're moving really fast, so it's not like homey, but yeah, it's the food is so good here, <laughs> I think. Wow. Actually, I, I know I don't want to eat a lot of rice because we're going to eat a lot of food today, but I really like it with the rice. <laughs> the rice really makes it delicious. like seafood bibimbap but with so much flavor. I would say that this moochim is very strong vinegar flavor. Usually I complain about that, but here it works really well. You can still taste the meat, you can taste the herbs. Wow. We came here at 1 p.m. and we waited maybe 40 minutes on a Saturday. So the wait is actually not super long. Even though it looks really, there's a lot of people, I think they move very quickly. Wow, this is so fantastic. Oh man. Not too spicy. I really want to know what kind of vinegar they're using. Because it has a vinegar flavor, shikcho. But it's not similar to most shikcho flavor. It's a little different. I don't know, smoother maybe? What do you think? Maybe it's just like higher quality shikcho. Maybe they're just using like expensive 
handmade vinegar. Everything tastes so fresh. And I really agree with what you said about the, the sauce is not hiding four ingredients. Like the nakshi and the clam, just super, super fresh. Here. Clam. Wow. The idea of like just mixing some seafood with spicy sauce and vinegar sauce, it's not common at all. And the first time I had this, it was really, really strange. But now I'm addicted to it. I really love it. It's almost like a Korean um, serveche. Have you ever had serveche? They take raw fish and mix it with some herbs and onions, just like this. And then they use lime juice. And lime juice has a very similar taste to shikjo. So this is like spicy Korean serveche. Serveche. I get it. Yeah. I think we need to drink some alcohol soon. Alcohol will make us hungry again. <laughs> okay, I see. We are going to a matchup called Pal Pal Pochang Matcha. I'm quite nervous. I'm almost shaking right now, actually. We are going to eat something I've never eaten before. I've never thought I would eat it in Korea. We're gonna have raw chicken at this place. Not just raw chicken, but raw chicken feet, right? Seng dakbao, and raw chicken gizzard. Seng dakdongjit.